Hello, you sexy chicken people! I'm David Hooper, and welcome back to the video tutorial on how to draw the human assault rifle from Halo. Now, this is going to be the shading tutorial. Last one was the drawing tutorial. It teaches you how to draw step by step every segment uh, down to, nit to the nitty, nitty gritty. Basically, all of this, what you see right here, has been explained in that last video, so check that out because you you can't shade it, you can't shade your paper if you don't have the assault rifle there. <laughs> okay, so let's go get let's go ahead and get started. We'll bring up my photo and we are ready. Okay, now of course I have a box of shading pencils that I use in every video. These are called the Faber Castell pencils. Now I will be doing a art supply review in the near future, but for now, I'm just going to tell you, you know, the shading pencils that I use. Um, it comes in a set with lighter pencils, and half of them are lighter pencils, and the other half are dark pencils or dark shading pencils. So it goes to light to dark to darkness. To darkest, lightest to darkest. So, and I'm using the second to dark, the second to last of the darkness family. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna call them families. These pencils, because they are families, bro. You and me are family. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so yeah, this is a very dark pencil, and this will be good for shading. And I'm also going to uh, introduce a technique to you. Um, reason why I say introduce, you might not know that I use this technique in my videos, but what I do is I take my thumb and I rub in spots and it adds more realistic shading to it, like it's actually there. So yeah, let's get started with it. Uh, enough yipper yapping. Yipper yapping. Yipper yapping. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Now, I'm going to go ahead and darken in. Shade this part right here, color in this part, this section right here. Okay. We're going out first and adding a layer of darkness. This wants to need shading. And in certain spots you need to add pencil shading, and in certain spots you need to take your thumb or index finger or any tool to rub the pencil. Uh, it makes a good rub effect. It's a it's a rubbing technique. I call it the shading technique, but it can also be referred as the rubbing technique. I hope this video is also informational, as was the last one on how I'm um, teaching you how to draw this. You want to make sure that your shading is clean, you know, not dirty and lazy. So, as you can see, I'm going to shade each shape, each and every shape and segment of the rifle. This is also, you know, coloring as well. So, um, if you ever, you know, when you're a little kid, a little toddler, you color in your coloring book, it, this is the same thing, just, you know, not with uh, all the colors. You know, not with crayons, it's with pencil, and it's, it's going to be in black and white. You can cut... Actually, it's basically it. It's, ba it's basically the rifle. It's basically black and white, so... Except for the digital bullet counter right here, which is a blue holographic digitized calculator kind of thing. But, um... I'm not going to color it, and I'll probably lightly color it, but that's pretty much it for what I'm going to do with that. And I might also draw Master Chief on my channel as well. Now as you can see, 
I'm doing the shading technique, I take my index finger or thumb. I recommend using the thumb for bigger spots like this, you know. But uh, I'm just going to take my index finger. This is my recommended finger. And I also want to combine it with a little bit of a pencil shading. With a pencil shading. Cross from there. And you'll also see me go back, touch up, tweak my drawing a little bit, and, th and that's what you need to do too. Every good artist tweaks his drawing, okay? Keep that in mind. Every good artist tweaks his drawing because there's always something that he or she wants to touch up on, and that's just natural. And this part right here is going to be darker, so yeah, uh, make sure you shade that in. So yeah, if you don't have the uh, pencil, the shading pencils that I do, I'm, uh, you know, you don't you don't have to use the exact same shading pencils out there. There's more shading pencils out there, but if you don't, if you only have like regular pencils, you know, uh, just uh, you know, go ahead and just put down pressure into your. Uh, pencil and it'll give you different varieties of shading. You probably already know that, but just a little heads up to you if you did not know that already. So yeah. But I highly, if you have the money and opportunity to, I would recommend you go to AC More and purchase this pack of pencils. Like I said in uh, one of my videos, in one of my uh, earlier videos, you don't have to exactly use the drawing utensils, the art utensils that I use, but it is recommended, but again, you don't have to use them. If you, you know, don't know where to get them, don't know where, you know, don't have that much money to buy it, or you want, you know, or you don't want to, you don't want to buy, you know, expensive drawing supplies, which these uh, these uh, Faber Castell shading pencils aren't expensive at all. They're very cheap, and it gives you a very good opportunity to like shade. It, it, and they're really worth the money, guys. Trust me on that. Which I'm not really sure how much they cost, so do apologize. But you can probably order some from Amazon.com or any other site that sells art supplies. So yeah, that's my recommendation. Okay, now um, I'm going to tell you which you know sections you should color, which sections you should you know, like you know which sections that you need to darken, need to lighten up, because there's going to be this uh, rifle is filled with segments and shapes that are differently shaded and colored with the gray with gray and black. So this right here, this part needs to be shaded in almost the same about the same color as this as this section right here Now, of course, darken in your little shapes you have in this little section. Uh, shade in that half triangle, uh, that half triangle right there. And as you can see, Now right here for this little uh, half octagon shape right here that I'm pointing at, uh, the inner part is going to be shading, shaded, so make a little 
outline, the inside outline of the shape right there, as you can see what I did right there. And then that's what you want to do, and then like just color that little shape in. It is a technique, uh, the shading technique is what I recommend using. But there is also a tool out there, but I'm not sure what it looks like or what it's named, or I don't know. It's some kind of art tool that does the same similar thing that I that I do. Now the reason why you don't see the barrel right here on top because the barrel is actually in front of the it's like a little snug in front of the like right in front of the of here of the shell right here. And yeah, the Faber-Castell pencils come in a box with a sharpener and a pretty good eraser. And the sharpener uh, sharpens, sharpens very well, so highly recommend that. So yeah. Now right, right here, what I'm doing here, I'm taking my index finger. You can also take your thumb, but I always use my index finger. Go ahead with a layer. A light layer, shade around here. As you can see, um, I'm not bluffing right here. The paper, this part right here, the section is actually go is actually getting a little bit darker. As you can see, now right here in the center, what I would do was is uh, shade right here. Now, as you can see, there's a big shaded line around in that area. So yeah, that's this is a very good technique if you want to really, you know, realistically shade in that section or any like, you know, I would, you know, not just for this, but I was all I would also use it for um, any drawing, you know, that needs like good shading, you know, like portraits. I would use that. I would definitely use that for that, but not too much, you know, because there is a limit that you need to have with that, you know. Now right here, we're going to go ahead and uh, color uh, the surrounding of the digitized bullet counter. First I'm going to carefully darken in the outline right here to make it much more darker. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna have fun with. I'm kind of. I'm really having fun with this. Uh, it's pretty fun, you know, drawing weapons. It, it can also be a little harder, more complex. Uh, you know, a little more complex artists out there, but don't worry, you can get through it. Now what I'm doing here is drawing little lines on the digitized pull counter. If you can see that, um, you can barely see some little lines right there. So, yeah, that's basically what you want to do. Sorry if you hear yelling in the background. Um, it, it's perfectly uh, fine. Uh, my mom just, my mom's just yelling at my uh, puppy Cory. So yeah. So right here, I'm just shading the out outer part yeah. I also take requests so feel free and don't be shy to uh, request anything Okay, make sure you darken your outlines in this section as well. Yeah. 
Okay. Sorry if it's a little bit dead silence in this little part right here, but um, nothing really much to it. R uh, really simple, really basic stuff right here. Just uh, darkening right here. Yeah, you have to put some pressure in your index finger or your thumb, whatever you're using for this process. Uh, to, yeah, to shade that, and that's pretty good. Go ahead and darken in the top and bottom portion of the shading. Okay, now we're going into uh, different se uh, segments right in here. Now, uh, in, th in this part, in these segments are really like, you know, have some uh, gritty marks, you know, rough mar rough lines, you know. So I would, you know, put some bow damage in, like some scrapes, you know, like I'm doing right now. So, and I'll give you a close up on the scrapes that I'm doing so I can give you a little example. You know, put some scrapes because you know, this uh, weapon is that has been you know put through a lot, you know, in engagements and stuff, and you want to capture that, that uh, you know, that detail. Okay, now what I'm doing, I'm lightly shading in with gray on this little big triangle right here, this little segment, segment. Okay, now go thoroughly and shade it. Of course, there's some uh, little segments right here that are not shaded in properly, and I will change that in momentarily in a moment. Right here, I'm darkening this, you know, the side of our little fish buddy right here, as you can see. Okay. And of course, I will give you a close up on this as we go along.
just follow the exact same steps of shading that I'm doing. So yeah, that's so. Uh, it's really simple. Thoroughly color uh, shading in some important areas right here. Okay, darken this little uh, cube right here. But on this side, uh, you want to keep it a little bit, you know, light right there. Right, uh, right here. Right here on this top and this section right here we're going to go ahead and darken shade this darken darkly. Darken them right here. Darkly is not a real word, but I use it anyways, but it it's not a real word. It's not a real word. So yeah. Don't worry, I I, I have proper language. I do uh well well on the English papers, and that's just a little art slang word I use, darkly. It doesn't, it's not even a real word, but I use it anyways. So, forgive me about that. Now right here, uh, another uh, little detail I forgot to add, um, forgive me. You want to just make a little circle, maybe like a little three-dimensional circle. Basically just like that, that's um, basically just like that, right there. Color it in. Okay. You guys are pr probably really tired of me saying, okay, 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 <laughs> you know, so, uh, sorry about that. I got a lot to apologize for in this video. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, in this area, you want to completely darken in this section.
So yeah, guys, um, are you interested in the Halo franchise? Uh, I'm, I, I love it. You know, I thought, uh, you know, the franchise, the series, the game series would end after Halo 4. But no, my, uh, Ubisoft is still trying to carry out, still trying to, you know, have, uh, make Halo live on, which, you know, I would just have Halo 4 end the series right there. I really think that Halo 5 is unnecessary, you know. Next thing you know, it will be up to Halo 12 or something, you know. So, uh, yeah, and also, I'm not gonna get Halo 5 because I'm not gonna get, uh, Xbox One because I heard that it's gonna be, it's gonna be really sucky and I'm not gonna buy it, you know. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and, you know, just like look up on YouTube or something and you'll see what I'm getting at. So, my buy, when I get the money, I'm gonna try to pre order the PS4 because it just looks so much better with the graphics engine you know, with the graphics, then, you know, Xbox One, and the exclusive on the uh, PlayStation 4 is just way better, so I'm definitely going with PS4, with PlayStation 4, so, but that's my opinion, you know, so, yeah, but you're not, uh, here for the conversation, you know, for the console conversation, you're here for the art, which, you know, how to draw art videos, so, I'm gonna go ahead and shut up about that, okay, Okay, now, uh, going on, there's a lot of segments, a lot of little pieces you need to color up. You also want to make some marks right here. Like some, you know, that little dirty up, uh, you know, sketch marks right there. Very jagged marks. Like I said, this weapon has been, uh, probably been through a lot, you know. Been roughed up and stuff. So you want to add that extra detail into it. And I'm just going back here just coloring it more thoroughly. so good so far.
Sorry guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry, this is a very long process for the shading. So, um, sorry about that. So we're going into the little Jar Jar Binks or a little frog piece right here. We're shading it. We're then taking your index finger or thumb to shade it and combine that with some pencil shading, of course. Now, of course, slightly shade this uh, piece right here, the reloaded, the reloading piece right here. I'm gonna call it a, I'm gonna call it a reloading piece because it's a part where you have to reload the weapon right up there. Detailing. Okay. Now, if you have uh, seen my old channel videos, how to draw awesome stuff channel videos, you'll see that I drew Master Chief from Halo 4, the Halo 4 design Master Chief. And, um, you'll see, and, uh, you'll see that this is, like, the same weapon he was holding in the drawing. And, uh, I'll, I'll probably, uh, I'm probably gonna draw Master Chief, but, you know, that will be... I'm not sure when I'm gonna post that video or even make the. I haven't even make the, make made a video on how to draw Master Chief, but I'll probably will do it in the near future. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, I'll I'll just try to surprise you guys. Um, well, you want me to surprise you guys? Hopefully you want you want that because I like surprising my viewers. Now I would shade this bottom right here. I would shade darken darkly shade darken in this area right here. Okay, so we're like about done with this uh, shade with the shading. Of course, I'm gonna go back, you know, and do some different segments, some different touch-ups here and there. But other than that, we should be almost done, at least for you, the viewer sitting casually, probably eating a burrito. Who knows? <laughs>
Dark in this area right here. We will, uh, uh, we will soon do the gun flare. So stay tuned for that. I'm just touching up right here. Okay, so we're almost done right here. Okay, now right here, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, shade this Master Chief's thumb, thumb right here. A little bit of dark shading. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna do spend too much effort on this because it's really you don't really have to because it's it's the main focus is just the gun at hand. So yeah, so focus on that, focus on this. So yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna do for the uh, thumb right there. Now it kind of looks like a Spartan laser, but uh, I mean this part looks similar to the Spartan laser section. So yeah. And right here I'm just lightly and well not very lightly shading in right here. Maybe I'm gonna go ahead and color in the numbers. Not like real dark, you know, but uh, I'm going to darken them in. Okay. okay. Now, right here uh, with the radar system, I would do the same thing, but lightly. Maybe a little bit close up right there. Okay, so that's basically what you want to do. Looking good, really, looking really good, in my opinion, if I do say so myself. Okay. Now, for, uh, finally, for the gun flare. I'm going to go ahead and sheet my, well, I mean, sharpen my pencil, sorry. There we go, that's a nice sharp point right there. Ooh, my finger snapped. Okay, that's not a pretty thing. <laughs> now right here, you know, uh, like I said, there was like a crown here that you made. So, just erase that. Erase the beautiful crown. And we're going to make a flare. Now it's going to be a very spiked. In order to make a good gun flare, you know you want to make it really flaring, flourish like a flame, like a flared flame. Okay, kind of like a comic book esque. Uh, explosion kind of okay. now I would have uh, 
If I were you, I would shade this, shade your gun flare, and in the outlining of it, make a dark outline on the spikes, on the whole gun flare, on the bullet flare. Now, of course, I would add some, maybe, like, some sparks to it or something like that. So, yeah. That's basically it. Now, if you want to draw the radar system and all that, you know, you can, but I'm just going to leave it like this. You know, but if I do decide to, you know, do the whole thing, um, I will, you know, notify you with that. So, yeah, um, if you want to, uh, you know, you can make the HUD right here, which is just very simple, very basic, you know. So, yeah, the main focus was just the weapon at hand, the assault rifle, so let me erase this little mess right here, and, yeah. Here's a basic close-up. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of segments right here that you need to, like, shade in. Here's some segments that you might not uh, have saw in, seen in the previous video. And of course, the gun flare. So, yeah, guys, that's basically it for this drawing tutorial. Now, of course... If you want to see more videos just like this one, go ahead and uh, click the subscribe button, uh, comment on this video, uh, like and favor this video, and uh, yeah, so that's going to be pretty much it. I thought it looked, it turned out really good, and I hope yours did too. So I will see you in the next video, guys. And this is Art Chicken 101. Signing off, once again, see ya!